today's video we're going to be working on drawing a 5x10 CNC machine frame. I've started out here by drawing a base plate that the machine is going to be basically the machine footprint and <clears throat> once we get the footprint, the overall footprint, I'm going to set up and design each component to go on to that footprint. So the small square here that I'm drawing is basically going to be the feet of the machine and those are going to need to be placed you know we're going to have end up with six feet on the machine so those are going to be placed around the perimeter of the machine here and as you can see it I am working on currently getting these feet designed and I'm going to put some holes in them one of these holes will end up being a threaded hole and one hole will actually be a hole in the event I want to put feet on it in the future um, you know or rollers so basically there's going to end up two holes in these particular feet for the for that purpose so right here I'm setting the measurement lines and <clears throat> in my case I'm going to put 5 8 holes in them you know so there will be a 5 8 hole here which will be 5 16 and 5 16 on the next one I'll end up having my machine guy put threads on one of these holes and the other one I'll just keep smooth So as we can see, got the holes and this is the overall plate of the machine. These are going to be the very bottom feet. I'm setting the measurement lines for where I'm actually going to be placing the <coughs> long rails and short rails. And that's what these measurements lines are. I'm kind of speeding the video up a little bit so that you don't have to sit here and watch a monotonous video work. I don't know about those two lines there together that I've placed are the thickness of the quarter inch legs that will end up going on here. So it's going to be quarter inch four by four legs. And we're going to put these base plates. I just made a group for those. And we're going to put those here all in their own group. Here basically I'm just lining these up around the template. That one square I drew at the very beginning is just a template for the bottom of the overall footprint of the machine. And I'm also going to put these plans on the website. That way you guys can download them for free so you don't have to redraw them in the event you wanted to build this machine or one similar to it. You can at least have the plans and they're already ready to go. Right here I'm setting the measurements for the feet and I'm going to radius the corners because of course most 4x4 square tubing has radius corners on it. <coughs> Duplicate it, I'm going to give it a quarter inch wall thickness and delete the center so that's the wall right here. I'm going to set this in place and I'm, after I duplicate these I'm going to make a component of them. And that way, when I alter one, it'll alter all six. And we'll call this one legs. We'll set, we'll set them all in place and control C, control V for a copy and paste. What it, it, that's what I'm doing here. And then just lining those up. <coughs> Now we'll 
go to one and we'll do the push pull or extrude command we'll pull all these up to this overall machine will end up being 32 inches off the ground to the tabletop and um, so these poles of course were pulled up 20 something inches we'd have to pull a tape measure on them to be able to tell exactly what I've pulled them up so there's the six legs I copied two more here and these are going to be the rails because it's going to be the same four by four by quarter inch square tubing that I'm using basically we're going to take these and set them up on top of those and we'll weld these together and of course this is the first video of this build so you know throughout the build process there will be pictures and videos posted of each section of it I'll try to name them accordingly so everybody can get a good idea of what they are and some of this may pertain to some and some it may not So I'm setting all the middle rails, set the two top long rails. <clears throat> and everything here is going to be welded together. So then I'm going to now design the cross section rails, which will go left to right, which I'll call the X axis on this particular machine. And I did speed some of these videos up in terms of um, so you're not sitting here watching the slowness of it. So if you wanted to watch the video slower, of course, you could slow it down on your own. And uh, feel free to do that if you're trying to keep up with what steps I'm making or pausing and restart it if need be. So this is the first cross rail here <clears throat> and there's ways to mirror these down the machine of course I didn't do that as you can see I set the two end ones and I'm going to set the bottom <clears throat> rails on the two sides and then I'll come back here shortly and put the measurements in every two foot because these will be spaced two feet so I'm going to do the top view down and you'll see I'm going to pull measurements every 24 inches and this will allow me to um, set these rails where I want them at Again, control C, control V to copy those, and I'm setting these rails on the center there. So I'm using that center point. Another control C, control V to get these up. And this is on a PC, of course, on Mac. It's probably different. I don't work on a Mac, so I don't know all those commands on that computer. Line all these up across here and then this is the basic overall machine frame of, of what I decided to go with in my particular case and for me this works since this is going to be for a 5 foot by 10 foot router table with a auto tool change spindle <coughs> I set offset those a little bit so that I can actually get get them where I 
one of them, so they're not dead center of the machine. They're they're fairly close, but the overall table of this thing I want to say is about 13 feet long. Now after we get the whole machine together, I'll end up cutting the layer off and deleting it from where I've built the bottom reference square at. I just built that just there for reference so it could build upon it. And there it is. So now you can actually see the frame of the machine. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the colors of each of these components that we've done in groups so that you can see how I've grouped these in different colors. And like I said, I'll put this on the website. That way you guys can download it if you'd like and you could just work from it and use what you need and throw away what you don't. So I knew when I built it, all those would be the exact same size. Another trick to this is making sure you get everything on the correct layer whenever you're designing it. If you put something within a layer, sometimes you have to go through and dig it out, as I've had to do here. So now as you can see, all the base plates or the feet are on the same layer. All the cross members are on the same layer. And now we've got everything colored by layers here. So you can actually see the different colors and how I've layered them inside the side panel. I had to play with those layers a little bit to make sure I had everything on the correct layer there. Now I'm just going to color them and make them, make them really stand out in a sense. That way I know exactly what I'm looking at and make it real obvious. So now basically I'm just going to go through and we'll take a look at the different views. Top, down, ISO, front, side, back, other side. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. And uh, our next one, like I said, we'll be building the gantry. Thank you again.